If you've been enjoying the show, which I know you have, make sure you support the merch. We got long sleeve 38114 shirts. We got white. Come on, man. We got blue. We got red 38114 shirts. Each shirt, whatever color it is, it got the red specks in it. The blue got the blue specks in it. This is my favorite, the green. You know what I'm saying? Represent well. It has the green specks in it. Make sure you support the merch at 38114show.com. They are available in small and all the way up to 2X. And if you uh, want to continue to get your laugh on, uh, make sure you support my comedy special. Say it louder. It's on a one gigabyte USB drive. It's 35 minutes of stand-up on here and a 15-minute documentary. That's my son on the front. He's throwing up the fist. Name of the special called Say It Louder. I'm black and I'm proud. Love you, boy. Make sure you get that. I will autograph it for you. And make sure you support the Sea Moss and Bladder Rack Immortal Herbs. It's a tincture. Boost your immune system. AIDS and weight loss. Boost your libido. Immortal Herbs, which also means Ambrose. Oh, man, that's clever right there, man. Sea Moss contains 92 of 101 minerals that your body needs. Bladder rat contains the other nine, both algaes. Both algaes, sea moss and bladder rat is an algae that comes out the ocean. It's full of magnesium, iron, you know, stuff that your body needs. So make sure you take care of yourself. These are available at comedianambrose.com. Everything you guess, 38114show.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn that notification on. Shows dropping every Thursday. We might drop two. Thank you. Comedian Ambrose, I'm out, man. Ready to roll. Uh, God damn it. Here we go. Another episode of the uh, 38114 show. I'm comedian Ambrose Jones. And uh, thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe and notification button. We got shows dropping every Thursday. Uh, sitting here with a, another special guest, Miss <laughs> uh, Tamisha Moore. Yes, yes. Thank from uh, Originally from Barbados. Yes. Been here in Memphis for uh, five years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been knowing you. Well, I know you are uh, working at Chuckles. Yes. Comedy yeah. House. Uh huh. The waitress. I think we've been knowing each other about what, five, six, yeah, seven years? Yeah, no, years? from the whole time I've been here because when I started at Chuckles, I'm pretty sure you came right, like, shortly because I started in, like, a September. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they, sure when they first opened? No, they've been open by the time yeah, I came down years. here. It was 2015. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it's a I want to say about two years they were open. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's yeah. a comedy club here in Memphis, I am there. So, yes, uh, you are. yeah. Uh, so everybody was like, you can't get Tamisha on the show. And then when I saw you up there, I was like, well, that's before, after I asked you. Yes. Get yeah. you on the show. <laughs> so uh, you're originally from Barbados. What brings you to Memphis, Tennessee? Well, first of all, tell us how, how it is growing up in Barbados. Growing up in Barbados is, I mean, I love it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I kind of biased from, from there, but it's the best island there I is. Heard. So, I heard. So you know, all some... other islands might have something else to say, but Barbados is it. I heard about <laughs> the beautiful women in Barbados. I'm, I'm just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. Born yeah. and raised in Barbados? Born and raised in Barbados. I came to the U.S. when I was a little bit after 10, mm -hmm. and I first came into it was Boston first. Then I moved to um, New York. Then I did a lot of moving around my, back to New, um, Boston, came on down to Indiana, and then I'm here in Memphis the past five years. So t what, what do you remember about Barbados, growing up in Barbados? Um, growing up in Barbados is, I remember like literally all, wherever I lived was always like next door to the school. Like mm -hmm. I was always able to like walk to the school every Saturday morning. I would have my next door neighbor. Um, it was it was like my you know a grandfather to me in a sense. It was mm -hmm. like grandfather of the neighborhood. Um, he would come eight o'clock in the morning. If I'm up, we go to the beach. You go to the beach for like four hours. Like there, I spend time like walking up and down the shore, just exploring. I like to explore. That's what a lot of times me and my friends did, and also. I have a next door neighbor, like selling food is a big thing in Barbados. Okay. Um, so like how here you have um, food trucks and whatnot, mm -hmm. um, selling food. People have like every other house is like a restaurant or like a pub slash bar, mm. you know. Yeah, what kind of food trucks. they serve? Ooh, they, they, ooh, like grilled fish, anywhere from shark, dolphin. Fresh, 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 fish. fresh fish. Straight out the water. Yes, yes, <laughs> fresh fish. Um, one thing that I do remember that's really good growing up in Barbados, like every time you go to the market, mm -hmm. like the meat is never from the week before. 
it, at best, it's from the, the day before, literally. Man. Like, and they get, like, they push, get it out. Like, seriously, it's all, it's fresh produce. And every house, like my mom's house or my grandparents' house, every house has a garden. So, every, you know, nowadays people are trying to get back to that. Fruits, vegetables. You name it. And the Sweet potatoes, has... potatoes, limes, figs, um, bananas, um, tomatoes, hell, hell, everything you thought of. Yeah. Our, my garden had literally so y'all didn't get sick much there because y'all had fresh food and vegetables yeah and they used i used to get like a lot of vitamin i couldn't even tell you what this nasty one was but it was <laughs> it, it tastes like literally cod liver oil to me but yeah who we'll had like from kids or raise um we yeah, got raised up on cod liver oil i'm um, taking you know daily vitamins mm -hmm. one of the vitamins that's um, pretty big and right it's called seven c's they have like a vitamin C, they have a vitamin D, they have olive oil capsules. Like, that's a lot of things that were big, like helping to our skin because we're out and on the, um, right. in the water a lot, on the ocean a lot. So, well, Barbadian people have pretty beautiful skin. Getting the vitamin D from the skin, uh, from yes. the sun. Yes. <laughs> yes I know yes, you yes, miss yes. that water, though. I do. I'm actually trying to go back this year. I'm really trying to go. Ain't back no water this year. in Memphis. You can't get in no water unless no. you're at a swimming pool. I've been, a... Hey, I've texted everybody, hey, um, <laughs> where's the nearest beach or what's the, 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 the um, they said something like Biloxi. No, but you don't want like, to go to Biloxi. They told me about Biloxi. Biloxi <laughs> Beach is like a spillover from the Mississippi River. You don't want to go there. Okay. I think. Uh, I went, though. It was cool, was but. Florida. That's the next nicest beach. It's I like, know. And I might as well go home. That's like four, a four-hour flight from there. Okay. It's That's like eight-hour, seven-hour drive from here, right? Okay. The, okay. Coast, the coast of uh, Alabama and Florida right mm -hmm. there. Yeah, that's the best one. The next best one to go to. Yes. Yeah. That's what I miss. I miss that and the food because they eat a lot. The food, uh, yes. islands, uh, jerk chicken. That's my favorite. Uh, y'all got that's Jamaican. Our but. um national dish is called. You're gonna hear my accent a little bit. Cuckoo and flying fish. Cuckoo. I heard a cuckoo and who? Flying fish. Okay, flying what's fish cuckoo? Is a type, cuckoo is a cornmeal. They um. Okay, I like all kind of bread. I fuck with that. <laughs> I fuck with cuckoo. That sounded cool. Cornmeal. Think already. of it like grits. Okay. Because it's still that's grits. The stuff they eat with the hands. That's cuckoo. That's that's a different that's not it's a different type of cornmeal but i know what you're talking about there yeah. um there's the white kind and then there's the yellow kind we use the yellow kind okay I in think african Africans, cultures right. they use the white kind i think they call it um shona in the belly is what they call it what is it called shona shona uh, <laughs> um and in more like West African, they have like they call it couscous. Mm -hmm. That's it looks more like uh, Grits, potatoes like to me. Couscous, potatoes, yeah. like potatoes, but a little okay. bit thicker. Cuckoo and flame fish. Cuckoo and flying fish. If you Google flying fish, you know they actually do fly. Oh, okay. Like over, the, like literally, they have like they come out the water. Like, literally, they good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Steam, bake, fried, you name it. You can't get that here in America, can? You? Probably at the farmer's market. Ah, uh, no, they don't have flying fish. I've looked. Oh, okay. they don't. It's called you'll probably, flying fish. Yes, you probably get that on the um, like the sh the um, the states along the shores, mm -hmm. like New York, Boston. Florida. Oh, okay. You'll probably be able to get no it flying there. fish in Memphis. Mm -hmm. And if, if you were. did, it probably say it came from Barbados, then it went to Mexico, then it went to. It ain't fresh. <laughs> it, it ain't fresh by the time you get to it. Yes. <laughs> okay. I mean, I've had my mom has been able to bring some up for me. That's as fresh as it gets. Mm -hmm. But that's been some years now. Like. Okay. So, your kin folks still in Barbados? Yes. I had my mother's back there, and a quarter of my dad's side of the family is uh -huh. still there. It's still there, so yeah. So you just moved around. You been to Boston, New York. How long you was in uh, New York? Back and forth. I've been in the U.S. for about twenty years now. Yeah, just um, moving all around. Yeah. Mm, What's your I, daddy? Your daddy? Uh, what was he? A flight attendant? Or no? It's just my dad lived in Boston, and then he had siblings in Indiana. Sibling, and then my mom's um, sister lives in New York, so that's oh, like you know, okay, yeah. just moving around trying yeah. to find mm -hmm. out what's right for you all. Mm, my dad is actually back in Indiana now, so okay. Mm -hmm. How y'all get here to Memphis, Tennessee? I moved down here to Memphis. Oh, your own? Nope, no, 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 no. My fiance. Okay. Um, I moved down here with him. Um, we moved here together. We've been um, knowing each other since seventh grade. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. From uh, Barbados? From, N from no, Indiana. from Indiana. Yeah. Right. Um, okay. Graduated same high school together. Moved down here with him. 
Um, and I've just been planting my roots here. What made you say Memphis? Memphis? What made him say Memphis? He has family down here. Everybody got family. He here. got family down here. <laughs> like it's not that much. It's just a brother. Every, right. He got a brother down okay. here. Okay. <laughs> and he just said Memphis. That's where we're going. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's funny because when we were 18, he said he was coming to Memphis, and I was like, No, you can't come without me. Then we weren't together. So we weren't dating. We we're just friends. And then, funny thing is, here I am, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Years later, but here I am. Yeah. Here in Y'all like Memphis, Tennessee? Yes. Love Memphis. I love how, I'm 30, so people my age, or there's a lot of entrepreneurship going down here. I love that. Right. You like that? And my color. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love that. I love to see that. Um, whether you call it a hustle or um, your next, um, you know, business adventure, you know, I love how a lot, everybody down here has something that, that's their own. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, uh, I think I started seeing you uh, out on the, uh, the, the, the poetry scene, singing yes. and poetry. You always, you always did that? Um, I first started out doing poetry um, when I was 12 years old. I mm -hmm. first started out writing Indiana. poetry in Indiana. Um, I would, my cousin would be in like all these writing classes in college and stuff, and I would go to the college, you know, writing classes and sessions with her, mm -hmm. just just sit there enjoying. And the guy, you know, close enough with the professor, the professor loves me, and she let me, you know, share one of my pieces that way. Um, and then on top of that, I had other people that I knew as far as like. Um, like open mic in Indiana, mm -hmm. they didn't have, they don't have that many. It's not like here, not like right. here. Right, right, <laughs> they don't right. have that many. Um, I just, you know, shared one of my poems, and then I eventually did a song. Just and then that's how. Now I'm a singer. You know, I do singing now, so that's how we got into that. As far so as when you first came down here, who was the uh, first person that got you into the uh, open mic scene? Flo, Poetic Flo. Flo, yeah. It's my sister, Had her on the my guest. girl. Yes, yes, yes. Shout yes. out to Flo. Yes. So, so she did she introduce you out, uh, or invite you out to one of her events she had? Funny thing, it's how it happened. <laughs> we worked together at Chuckles. Right. And, you know, first met each other. Okay, cool. You know, just. I'm the type of person, you know, I, I say to myself for the most part, I'm cool. Um, I say to myself for the most part, you'll hear me singing all the time wherever I'm going, just randomly. Right. You know, she just heard me. and We just, I, I couldn't even tell you what it was over or how it, and we just clicked. And we just started hanging out. I remember Martin Ez was the first spot she introduced Tuesday, me to. Tuesdays, right? Yeah, yeah. on Tuesdays. And then I introduced her to, you know, back then I was a little bit wild, you know, to drink 151 straight, you know, uh -huh. introduced her to that. 151. <laughs> what's, what's 151? Wild turkey. Yeah. No, Bacardi. No. At that time Bacardi. it was Bacardi. Bacardi don't, you make it anymore. They discontinued it. Yeah. 151. Y'all, yes. you were drinking that straight? Well, here's the thing. Barbados, we have one of the oldest rum, rum distilleries. Okay. Um, And it's called Mount Gay. Rum, they have it light, dark, silver, eclipse, you know, you can, you name it. And to, the only thing that I can compare that to is 151. Oh, okay. So. What proof is it? Strong? Yeah. Ooh, it depends if you get it from home or in the U.S. Okay. In the U.S., they have to, I got to say, like, they have to dim it down a right. little bit. But <laughs> um, back home, it's, I've, I don't want to be wrong, but I want to say it's, it's a close to like 90%. Okay, you know what? I just started drinking rum. Uh, Baku, that's from Barbados, I think. Baku, they got uh, eight age years and twelve age years. Baku, B A C O O. I don't think I've seen. I think that, that was from uh, Barbados. That's pretty hmm. good. Mm -hmm. I haven't okay. tried that one. So one fifty one. That just continue. What you drink now? What kind of rum you drink now? Um. Well, I can find the Mount Gay rum actually here. Mount Gay. Yes, you can find and it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I gotta try that. It's um. The liquor store right there on Quince and Kirby, right in the Kroger parking lot, mm -hmm. they had they they sell it. I know for sure. That's okay. where I found it. But yeah. So you got her on that one fifty one. But I'm more I'm more I done I done left the rum side. You know we don't do that no more. What you know drink? we grew up. Yeah, yeah. What you I'm drink? more of a cognac. You know we sip. Okay. You know we prim. <laughs> <laughs> the accent coming in. You know what you're saying. <laughs> yes, okay. we sip. So um, okay, cognac. That was y'all drinking now. So y'all yep. went out and you got her on the one fifty one. No. Oh, you didn't get her on. Yeah. Well, she. I didn't think she was gonna uh, drink it, but she took. You know, she drank it with me. She yeah. she handed her own flow. You know, she handed her own. <laughs> and she. I mean, I don't think she drank it after that. But you know, if I was, you know, she wasn't gonna shy away from it. So mm -hmm. yeah. 
Okay, mm-hmm. so y'all started kicking it then. Yeah, we started kicking it. There was that. Then there was um, the word. Um, the word. Uh, yeah. Where was the word? I love that spot. Um, where was it then? Rumble Room? No, not the Rumble Room. Safari? No. Downtown? It's, the, it's, it's been downtown so for many sure. Spots. It has like a, um, like a little... Uh, Theater situation in the back, like um, like two situations, because they had it in the front. Uh, Marshall Avenue. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. At yes. the uh, what's the? I can't the remember the, the venue of the name, but yeah, yeah. Fat Mac, Fat Mac had it. Yeah, the yeah, word yeah. man, that just yes. used to be jumping in the yes. in the front in the front room. They uh, had it in the when I came, they had it in the back because I remember Flo had a feature there, and this is when you know we had got you know acquainted with each other. She saw you know how. I am artistically as far as singing. Yeah. Um, then we did, uh, I sung on pieces mm-hmm. with her. And then we came into this piece where she does, it's called Side Chick, where I, coll- I collab with her. I sing different songs from different, you know, um, well-renowned writers that we know, Whitney Houston, not writers, singers, Whitney Houston, mm-hmm. you know, different people like that to give you a story of about, you know, Side Chick, the piece that she writes. Yeah. And, lost to her. Mm-hmm. and you started singing along with that. Yeah. Then- and then it took off. Um, I've done most of her productions. Okay. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. The uh, her and uh, 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 Grant. Yes, um, with yes. Her, with Serenity and T. I've done most of the productions with them. Um, that's that's and ever since we've been rocking. Like, yeah. So you got Thank a family God. that's into arts entertainment. Yes, my actual. Um, my voice actually comes from my dad. Okay. <laughs> Uh, if you hear me and my dad, our um, harmony is immaculate together. Dad, dad sing? Yeah, dad sing. That's how you got your mama to that, sing? No, my mama, I don't any, know. Any dude that know how to sing. <laughs> I mean, good. My, dad, my dad was into like sports and stuff, like cricket. Cricket is a thing in the West Indies. Okay. So he was into cricket and stuff like that. But he could sing, mm-hmm. but he never my, pursued um, it professionally. My father and his siblings, they had like a, you know, here in the U.S. they call it counties. Mm-hmm. We call them parishes. So we had a... Um, a uh, choir. It's called the Licorice Choir. Okay. That's my um, grandmother's, my father's mom, her maiden name. Licorice, okay. You know, and the Heinz, you know, then it became the Heinz Family Choir. Then, yeah. So they all, all my dad's siblings can carry a tune. On dad's side? Yeah. So they just spilled over into you, Yeah. Huh? Thank you, God. <laughs> Mama cannot sing, Jesus. Yeah. She cannot. <laughs> she can't. <laughs> she cannot. <laughs> so you started getting into music. Hey, this is probably about the best scene for poetry and music is it it is it is um some of the productions and some of the things that i've been witness to here in memphis have been nothing short of amazing Mm -hmm. um as far as like when you go actually the art scene total from comedy being you know seeing you and many others and great names as well on that stage before like from seeing that um being a part of the show, something like, because you know, some of the comedians do have a bit where they cost the money up. I've been one of those people right. as well. Um, to the poetry, to the music scene, just to seeing how how Memphis responds to that, how they just love music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what? Uh, what's the one of the biggest productions you uh, you you've been a part of? One, one of the, the biggest bri- shows. Um, the biggest productions I've been a part of is um, it's called Aida. Aida. Aida is a Broadway musical. Okay. Um, people like Heather Headley just played it. Okay. Um, and that's here in Memphis? No, not here in Memphis. That's one of the biggest productions, period, okay. that okay. I've done. Um, I was actually the lead. Oh, where was this at? This was in Indiana. This okay. was in Indiana. Mm-hmm. So that was one of the biggest productions that and I've done. What did you do? What did you do? I was, um, I sang, I act, I dance. You, you, so you, you do it all. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> I sing, act, write, dance. I can draw as well. And, um, God damn. I dibbled, <laughs> I dibbled, dabbled in a little, little bit of everything. That's yeah. right. People from the island, y'all do a little bit of everything. Cook? You know how to cook some of them yeah. good dishes? Yeah, I do. I, do. I ain't had no choice. I what ain't is had that no called? Choice. Cuckoo and uh and flying fish. I was yeah. that, that I don't know how to cook. That's one of them things where oh, how like, you don't cook? I, how you don't know how to cook? Cause it's hard. No, it's hard. The number one to dish? get. I know. I gotta have. I gotta have either my cousins that are like forty and up do it, or my aunts. You know, and no one that's like my age and younger knows how to cook it. They don't. I don't you don't know. even know how to cook the cuckoo part. I know. I like. I've tried it, and it didn't turn out corn, the way. Cornmeal, water, milk, with it. it. No, ain't no milk. Ain't no milk. The way they <laughs> do it, it's like with oak. They have oak. They do okras, and they like boil okras first, 
and then they pour out the okra Man, water. That sounds so good. Yeah, it is. It's really, it's really good. Cause sometimes they either do it with the uh, the fine fish or they do it with salmon. Or, okay. Yes, um, salt fish. Have you ever had salt, salt fish? fish? Never had. I heard it, of it. But all these things are in the stew. You have a stew, like. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. One thing I do know how to cook oxtails. Oxtails are my thing. Yes. Oxtails, your yes, thing. What yes. kind of sauce you put on oxtail? Can't you oh, you can't tell you. What? <laughs> I, can't no, I had the uh, jerk uh, from the Jamaican spot. That's uh, that's that's fine. More um, how we eat it back home is it's it's not, here in the South they have oxtail soup. Uh -huh. I've never had it, but we make it a stew. So a stew is a little bit thicker, and you put it over rice. Mm -hmm. And to accompany that on the plate, you have like. You call it macaroni and cheese here. We call it macaroni pie because <laughs> we bake it. Okay. Like a pie. We, we, we put out the oven sometimes. <laughs> yeah, we still call it macaroni and cheese. Pie. Oh, y'all call it macaroni pie? Yeah, macaroni pie. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, then we have steamed vegetables. Steamed vegetables may consist of carrot, zucchini, cabbage, and then there's coleslaw. That's the plate. Okay. That's how, mm -hmm, that's how we eat it. We okay. Eat it. I think I heard you, uh, one of your clips on Facebook, Jill Scott. You like Jill Scott? Yes, that's 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 my girl. And you know what? I like Jill Scott. <laughs> I like Erica Badu, Jill Scott. Them two yeah, are my favorite soulful singers. Like, I ride and listen to them. Yeah, I do too. My and, favorite. And sing, and sing the songs too. <laughs> <laughs> you know when I'm by myself, you know what I mean? Like the yeah. crown roll on ice, I think Jill's not talking about me. I think she's talking about me. <laughs> that <laughs> song is, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. Jill's talking about yeah. me on that song yeah. right there. Y'all don't know that. But I Might believe be. <laughs> when I do actually meet her, I believe our energies will collide. And yeah, we probably would make a baby. That's mm -hmm. what... Manifest it. <laughs> I say manifest Yeah, I think with me and Jill finally connect. What's one of your favorite songs by Jill Scott? Ooh. You got so many. Ooh, that is hard. Mm. Uh, classic. Um, we're getting in the way. Mm -hmm. What, what I'm feeling. feeling. Okay. That one. Long walk. Long walk. Especially, long you gotta walk. say long walk. Gotta, gotta say long gotta walk. Gotta say long walk. That's a classic. Yeah, and her newest is called Le, Le Vum Vent Sweet. It's a. That's French, right? Yeah. Yeah, I took French it's, one, two, and three in high school. Yeah, I, yeah. No, I, just, had, I just had West Africa. I just friends. knew that was French. <laughs> so, what's one of your inspirations when you first started? Is that Jill Scott is one of them? No, it was Whitney Houston. Wait, who she got a voice? Yeah, it was Whitney Houston. When well, I, uh, before, you know. No, from when I. Like, before, before the Bobby era, Whitney yeah, yeah. was singing, boy, she can sing. What's one of your jokes about her? The song that I killed was I Believe the Children Are the Future, that song. Ooh. Yes, that song. Hold right on, was she the original singer? Uh, um, no, 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 she's not the original. Uh uh. I believe it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a classic. No, I don't think she was the original singer. I'm gonna say it's Dolly Parton. Ain't right, 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 yeah, right. Dolly right, Parton. Right. That's the, the song that you heard. She made it what it is. Yeah, that right. Dolly Parton. That yeah, song yeah. there, when you heard, it, you was like, mm -hmm. Yeah, I cried. I saw the video first in Barbados. I mm -hmm. cried, and then I came here. I was like, I'm gonna learn that. I learned. I even learned to do how the little thrills. You know, she be doing. <laughs> I can't do it now. You know, I yeah. came into my own. But then I was like, you know, imitate. That was that's my girl. And you I, know what? That song is so powerful though, cause yes. like. Uh, I think the kids need to hear that song now that, you know, just so they'll know that y'all are the future. Yes. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yes. That's a, that is a powerful song, though. It is. What year did, that, did she sing that song? Ooh. Bodyguard was good. Yeah, I'm about to say. It, it I'm was Every that. Woman. Mm-hmm. That was, yeah, yeah. That song. Yeah, that song, yeah. I'm Every Woman. Uh, I believe the children are the future. Can you give us a little piece of... Uh, that's that, that piece? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then what? I was like, you just pull it out, okay? Yeah. All right. Well, I think everybody, needs to, especially young folks, need to hear that. I believe the children are future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier let the children's laughter remind
kindness how we used to be. Yes. Okay, that's I, it. I thought you were going to get to it. I decided but, long ago <laughs> that to walk in anyone's shadows if I fail, if I succeed, at least the live as I believe. No matter what they take from me, they can't take away my dignity. Okay, that's it. Yes. That's it. That's, that's hey, it. Man, that's classic. You got yes, that. That's time. your jam right there. That's that. my, yes, <laughs> man. The last time I sung that was, I graduated high school 12 years ago, Jesus. She did not hesitate to sing yes, that song. I, I love that. it. I know that like Ooh. the back of my hand. R.P. Whitney. Rest <laughs> in peace, Whitney Houston. R.P. So that was your number one singer. Yes. You sang, but like, oh. I want to do that. I want to do that. And then Tina Turner came after that. Mm -hmm. so, it was, so then I came into the whole Jill Scott, Erica Badu, Indy Irie. Oh, I love all of them. Yes. Damn, yeah. They, they, so you're a soulful singer yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. I, I, would I like feel to, it too when you sing. I like to um, think of myself as um, all that Beyonce gives, but with the powerful and soulfulness of Jill Scott. Mm -hmm. You can dance like Beyonce too? Yeah. Okay, you can dance too. Yeah, <laughs> you dance when you sing. <laughs> yes, okay. I did. I did. I did that in high school. Yeah, and I do that in my routines as well. Oh, some really? Of my shows. Mm -hmm. I gotta come out. I think every time y'all have a show, I end up have a show somewhere out of town. Man, when now, did you come to Black Ship Monologue? Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, Serenity and T, Poetic Flow and Sir, they have. Um, production uh, a production called mm -hmm. Black Chick Monologue. I'm mm -hmm. a musical narrator for that. Man, yeah. When's when, the next one there? When, well, that's what um, we're in talks with now, what's what Flo's trying to decide now and when to, you know, bring that back, where and when and what time. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. You travel around with them too? Yeah. Yeah, you travel mm -hmm. with them the, too. The last place I went with them was on, you know, their Rhyme and Reason tour. Mm -hmm. I did the Atlanta stop. I did that, did before, that with them. Is that before pandemic? Before pandemic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that was after pandemic, actually. Okay. That was in, That's the one y'all sold out after the, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, she told me about that. Mm -hmm. So they one of your, uh, Chicago. you said you started with poetry first, though. Yes. So what's one of your original, your, your first poem um, that you wrote? Do you remember that? Ooh, remember? I could pull it up. Not remember, but I could pull it one up. One of your poems? Yeah. Oh, what's God. one of your poems, then? You remember one of your poems? Um, hmm. Cause do you still go back and forth and sing and do poetry too? Or yeah, you just, now you I just... do. Um, some, a little bit. But you say you transform your poetry into music. Into music, and then now, and then I like now. And that's how I started, like yeah. writing my songs and stuff like that, taking mm -hmm. some of my poetry and, and turn it into music. Then now I just write straight, like straight music mm -hmm. now. <laughs> yeah, straight music now. Oh, so poetry mm -hmm. was your introduction into singing then. Yes, okay. it sure was. It sure was. Oh, 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 oh. the Whitney Houston, that's classic. Uh, Jill Scott. Uh, 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 your favorite, A Long Walk. Yeah, that's mine. That's I love that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. That that's my that's one of my go tos. <laughs> that's one of my go tos. So what's one of the first pieces that you wrote that you was proud of? Um, it's called You ain't gotta look for the poem. Licorice Blues. Licorice? Yeah, licorice mm -hmm. blues. Um it depicted um I had a cousin that was going through a divorce at that time. It was like at that time like, I guess I I'm an empath in a way. Um I feel a lot for the people that I love and mm -hmm. that are close to me. So my cousin was going through a very bad, you know, divorce separation and, and one. I, she was just like really struggled like emotionally at that time. And I just wrote a song just depicting on, you know, what I saw her go through, how I, um, if she, if there was a way for her to explain how she felt mm -hmm. in that moment, I feel like that was the song to, to say that. So you channeled her feelings yeah, and emotions yeah. and you put it. Bad, like, yes. You put it in a song. Mm -hmm. And what's the name of it? Licorice Blues. Licorice? 
Licorice, yes. Licorice. Like, like that's my um my dad's side, his his mom, her maiden name. So oh, licorice. It's licorice. Still different. L I C O R I S. Licorice blue. Licorice blues. And this is uh from your cousin going through a yeah, divorce. Uh -huh. Her last her maiden name is li uh, licorice. So Okay. Get it? You know what I'm saying? Licorice blues, her blues. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her yeah. blues and my blues. Can yes. you ask a little piece of that? Oh, uh, actually I can pull Licorice Blues. That sounds interesting. Oh, you got it on YouTube? You've been calling me every night and day. I don't want to hear what you have to say. Broke my heart. Destroyed my heart. Lied to me and misused my trust. Perseverance is useless. So go. I don't understand why you keep playing these games. I don't understand why you keep wasting my time. I don't understand why are you driving my heart. It's no use. It's no longer yours, but you keep calling me every night and day. I don't want to hear what you have to say. Broke my heart. You destroyed my heart. Lied to me and misused my trust. Perseverance is useless. Man, that's hard. Licorice yeah. blues. Yeah. Give it up for that. That's yes. good. Yes. What, so what do you have any of this on C D or Oh C D no, I actually have Licorice Blues on YouTube. My channel is T More 190. Okay, I can go listen <laughs> yeah, to that. Do yeah, you yeah. have any more other songs um, on there? Um I'm currently in you know, I'm rebranding. Um I'm no longer to be Tamisha Moore. It's okay. going to be Tamisha. Just to me, okay, just like to this. me, just, just to me. me, just me. Big T. <laughs> yeah, you know. So um, I'm to me, sure. one fifty one. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, I have um, it's more like a. Uh, I have a song that's gonna be coming out here shortly. It's more like of a reggae dance hall type of beat. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing because of the concept of the song and and uh. The title, I'll, you'll, you'll know, when it comes out, I'll let you know the That's going to be on streaming services. Yes. On all streaming yes. services. Can we yes. get the Licorice yes. Blues on streaming services, please? Can you get it on streaming services? Yeah, yeah I got it. Can we to, put that yeah, on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I need to go ahead and put we that in the CD. Oh, so are, you, are we working on a CD? What's your yes, uh, goal? Um, currently, um, I'm... Uh, ooh, got a lot of um, pots on the stove, a lot of things cooking. Um, I'm currently working on... Um, an album. Okay. Um, and I'll just and I'll release a, a single this year. You gonna release a single this year? Yes. Okay. Yes, when yes, can yes. we be expecting that? Um, later on in the end of the year, around November, November okay. 2021. Yes. Okay. That's yeah. cool. Uh, yeah, that's good. That, you can sing. Thank you. That's Thank good. You. I like Licorice Blues. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna go on YouTube. How long <laughs> that song is? Uh, it's about five minutes. It's about five <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. It's when, it's when okay. you know, people used to write about something. She was like, shit. I went through that divorce. Know, that I, hurt I, me. I love you. Yeah. It's like that type of song. You got to explain something, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Though. I like yes. that. Yes. That's good. Uh, man, if y'all need any help, you know, I got friends with studios. So if y'all, okay. you know what I mean, hit me up. We can make some connects and get you in there. Yeah, we need some. It's on CD. Well, don't nobody use CDs no more. But yeah, everybody just streaming yeah, service. Yeah, you know, er, yeah, when, yeah, yeah. Um, when I do drop the single, it will be on all platforms. All, all platforms. platforms you you think of, it will be there. Yes. You know what, Licorice Blues? How you record that on YouTube? Um, I re I did a um. Hmm. So I think you can just download that audio version mm -hmm. and just you can put that on. Uh, you can convert it and put that I on have stream. Actual so. If the quality I have is good, vocals to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I would. Uh, I'm more of a perfectionist. And you would actually OC, have to sing. OCD about a little bit of things. So, mm -hmm. um, you would actually have to I, get a beat to that song and actually just sing the vocals over. Mm, you, actually, I have the background vocals and everything and all that to mm -hmm. it. So yeah. Okay. I would just have to lay it down. Tamisha, there. that's what yes. we're gonna be looking for. What the CD gonna yeah, be called? Yes. You know, you can't tell us that yet. No, I can't tell you that yet. It's, just, right. it's a, it's a surprise. It's a surprise. But you know, something that you know everybody. They can you know bop their heads too whether it's in the club in the car mm -hmm. um, on a plane on a boat yeah I think the world needs to hear it to me yes 
yes, yeah, yes. That's a good voice. And the world you shall have me this lost year. Lost your voice at all. No. Even after the baby. <laughs> yes. Just had, had a baby. Months. What, you had a boy? Yes, yeah, six months. He's six months now. What's oh. his name? DJ. His name is DJ. DJ? Like mm -hmm. DJ? Like, like, yeah, DJ. Like Demetrius Armour third is his name. Oh, yeah. okay. That's yeah. his nickname, uh -huh. DJ. Right. Yeah. Name his dad. <laughs> yeah. His dad is Grandpa. the second. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, how, so how has motherhood changed you? Um, it. The most um, honest question I um, answer that I can give is um, it's beautiful, it's tiresome, it's, challenging. it's awesome, it's challenging. <laughs> um, every emotion there yeah. is in the book, I mm -hmm. swear. Um, it's your it, first it one is. too. Yes, my first. My oh first baby, Lord, my pray for uh, Demetrius the Lord. second. Lord have mercy, pray for the. <laughs> no, second. don't do this. I want you. No, no, this way, this way. But yeah, yeah I, I, I love it. I, I being able to. Um, because um, I did teaching. Um, my background is in teaching as well. I started teaching uh -huh. um, kids. And I just recently, about what, three years ago, teach, taught preschool. Mm -hmm. um, just to see a child's face light up once they get the simple things mm -hmm. or the simple mechanics of how to do this. It's, um, yeah, that's, that's the joy of me, for me, being able to see him do that. Okay. And learn different stuff. That we know how to do Okay, that. that probably made you a better uh, singer, too. Uh, I know you got some <laughs> new songs now that yeah, you me, got a new I baby. Yeah, me and him be, yeah, me and my son be, um, he loves music. Um, I did quite a bit of shows when I was pregnant. Yeah. And he can go to sleep in a lot of the places. Uh -huh. um, so that's a plus for me. But, um, yeah, music is calms him. Um, you sing to him? I'm quite sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I do. That puts him to sleep? I do. Put him to sleep. Fun time, whenever music. That'd be cool yeah. to have a mama that can fuss at you and <laughs> sing to you, put you to sleep. And he has that. He has that. He does have that. Hey, my mama just fussed at me, but if she can sing me to just sleep, it's okay. That would be Everything's cool. all right with the world, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's cool, but I know you're gonna have a song about your son, about Demetrius the Third. I know you. That I will. That that whole experience. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, giving birth is uh. It's, it's quite an experience. Mm, no. Uh, seeing a woman give birth is quite an experience. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have sight from the other side <laughs> around, but... That's you know, I only is... did it once. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was, was like, enough for me. He was like, that is it. That is it. Oh, my God. I don't know why I'm supposed to be acting like this is a beautiful thing. It, no. Man, I, I, mm -hmm. actually, I was um, fortunate enough to see... I have, like, six godchildren. And um, I was fortunate to see one of them being born, like okay. the whole situation. So yeah, did you do I it natural? No, you no. from the island? I am you didn't not do it? Superman. I did enough. You from the island? You didn't I do did it? I did enough. I did enough. Okay, that's good. No, <laughs> epidural, epidural, please. Okay, so, two hundred. Uh, <laughs> give uh, everybody your social media info. Let them know where they can uh, contact you at. Um, there's Facebook. I have my Facebook as Tamisha Moore, T-A-M-E-S-H-A, -E Moore, M-O-O-R-E. There's my um, Instagram handle is one queen, the word one, O-N-E, queen, 246. That's 246 for Barbados, so that's how you can correlate that one queen, 246. What's so, 246? Yeah, it's Barbados area code. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, YouTube. Um, YouTube is Timor190. That's my YouTube channel. What you got? You got songs and poetry on there? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we yes. Can go I ahead. have po yeah. I have poems that I've collabed with other people. I've, um, you can catch most of the um, videos and uploads on Tamisha Moore on Facebook. That that's okay. where you'll see all. Like I've done poems with with Poetic Flow. Mm -hmm. um, I've done um, poems mm -hmm. with uh, um, other other artists as well back back in the day um, from Indiana. Um, so it's on YouTube and Facebook. Well, that's cool. Um, yes. I'm everywhere. Y'all can find me, comedian Ambrose Jones. Um, everywhere, Instagram, Ambrose Jones. I, 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 Facebook comedian. Uh, Ambrose Jones. Um, yeah, everywhere. Uh, YouTube, comedian Ambrose. Make sure y'all subscribe. I got clips on there. Uh, would you like to leave us with something? If you, if you would like to close it out. You know, the benediction. Uh, <laughs> the benediction. All hearts <laughs> cleared. <laughs> yeah. um, mm -hmm. I, I just say, um, in this time, you know, in this pandemic and people losing so many people, I just want to, you know, give our people, if not the world, just stay up, you know, stay encouraged. Um, 
and just live life to the fullest. Like you can't live life being scared of everything. So just just live it. YOLO. I know Literally. that's right. Because <laughs> 2020 showed us life is short. Showed up. You might as well go and do it. You might as well. Whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So would you like to leave us with a, a song or something like that? Uh, that's what I was really asking you. But. Uh, <laughs> she had a word, a piece of advice for me. A word, a piece of advice, yeah. yeah. Uh, woke up this morning with a smile on my face. Jumped out of bed, took a shower, dressed, cleaned up my place. Made me some breakfast toast. Two scrambled eggs, what they say now. Grease, grab my keys, grab my purse, grab my jacket off to work. Beaming all the way down third. Is it the way you love? <laughs> Miss Tamisha Moore. That's Thank right, ladies me. and gentlemen. Uh, before we get out of here, y'all make sure y'all pick up my uh, very good job. Uh, pleasure to having you on the 38114 Thank show. Thank you for having me. Uh, make sure y'all uh, get my comedy special, Say It Louder. It's on a one gigabyte USB drive. It's called uh, Say It Louder. It's a 15-minute documentary and a 35-minute comedy special on here. Get that at my website, comedianambrose.com. And this is my newest adventure, sea moss and bladder rack tincture. Uh, that's right, boost your immune system, boost your libido, AIDS, and weight loss. Uh, sea moss contains 92 of 101 minerals that your body needs. Uh, yeah, get that on my website, comedianambrose.com. We got the merch. We got the 38114 shirt. You know what I'm saying? You can get that. Uh, we got, uh, let me see, small to 2X, man. These things. 100% cotton long sleeve. I see that roll it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got all colors available. Blue, green, white, and red. Yeah, y'all can get those at 38114show.com. Thank, Thank y'all for, for tuning, tuning in. in. This, this is, is the 38114 show. show. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming, too. <laughs> yes, thanks for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. Yes.